Hi everyone. Uh, today we we'll show how to create the app service with the Nest.js, uh, an upgrading of Node.js. Right, first of all, we need to create an app service. Okay, we go into app service. We do create, then we subscript. <coughs> we input the information of those things and we input the name here example like this uh, we run stack at no chance 14 and we check the upper region where is the nearest of our, us and then we will check the service plan here now we go to deployment yes the deployment here we can enable in Crazy in here, but I prefer we will use the deployment after we create the web app. Next to monitoring, if you want to enable the application inside, click yes. The task here, the task here will be the task we will use to manage the building of all the application which has this task. Here we create, and create, review, and create. We create. Yes, here yeah. I will skip it because I just created a new one. Uh, let's go back to the creation we have created like this here. Yeah. Okay, um, let me see. Uh, here, when we got this, we will go to the deployment center. Yes, I'm using the deployment from GitHub. We select the source from GitHub. We set the organization the repository. Here is NetJS and main. After that, they will ask us to override a workflow or we create a new one or use existing workflow and we can pre verify here. You can see here there is a uh, step of upload to activate and the deployment of the node app yeah artifact one and this is the download one now we save it so you can see after we save it we will look into the action of the, uh, <coughs> the GitHub. It will go to view in here, but the upload artifact will be very long, it will take a long time. So I will modify the YAML file a little bit. Let's see. Okay, here. I will remove the test because I don't view it. I will remove the upload artifact because I don't give it to the download one here and then I just use the deploy to web app is we don't need to use the environment here we just need to Put and step a name here like this. Okay, deploy to web app. Use the deploy one, deploy to web app. Azure web app deploy v2. Like this in here, and the app name is farm management, slope name is production, knowledge profile. Okay, we will take the publish profile from the setting secret key that's what added into the GitHub. Okay, that is all the deploy. So I will take the commit and then go into action. We will see that.
they are do it okay it will take a little bit set up no version install you now it go to the after it done the build it will go to the deployment to azure web app Okay, uh, let's go through the configuration. In here, we we'll see there will be an application system for variable or the connection string which we are using for the database or any other else. Okay, backend deployment using zip deploy initiated. Take a look in here, you can see this is the real time data in and data out. Take a look at it. Here, you can see I uh, will go to 91 dots 25 megabyte. This means the side application of NetJS. Okay, now so let's go to the loading. Let's go to the browse to look at how the website will be deployed. Take another
and now you can see when we open the application let's call the application in wrong because <coughs> we didn't start anything from the command uh, if this is this is a node.js application it will run successfully so we need to modify a little while a little bit like this we go into the general setting and <coughs> go to the start command we input the npm run start uh, or start production if uh, we need to and in this case you start production and we save it okay after done the saving we restart the application go to browse again the thing is adding the cage Uh, after the build done and the deployment done you can see it's all done we go to the browse browser And then because this is the next JS one, so we need to put the start command is npm start product or start anything if you want to. And we can do a variable uh, before going to npm run like this. Okay, that is okay. You can see it's work now. Next, net API. Go to API one, yes, it's here, and we can save it. The point is, um, of this project is the <coughs> YAML files and the start command. I will put it in the description of the video. And now it's all done. Thank you for your watching this. Goodbye.